Good morning, Dreyfus, and happy Tuesday. Today is October 29th. I'm London Sanford, and we have a fresh new face on the air. That's right, London. I'm Jay Vandalva, and I'm extremely excited to get this show on a roll. Speaking of roll, let's roll that intro. Halloween is coming up creepily, so here's some quick schedule reminders. On October 31st, the schedule will be modified due to the Fall Festival, which will have lots of games and candy. Second period will be from 8.30 to 10.17. Third period will be from 10.24 to 11.19. Lunch will be extended from 11.19 to 12.45 for the Fall Festival, which is taking place in the gym. Fourth period will be from 12.52 to 2.12, and sixth period will be from 2.19 to 3.40. We hope to see you all dressed up and enjoying the festivities. Attention all NHS members. There will be a meeting during lunch today in the Media Center. If you are unfamiliar with NHS, they have tutoring every Tuesday in the Media Center, where you can walk in and get tutored. Scan the QR code to sign up for tutoring in a specific subject and to get assigned a tutor. If you have any questions, email dsoa.nhs at gmail.com with your personal email. In other news, the Jossie Chaperones opening night is this Friday, November 1st. Start off the month by watching our very own theater department. There are also shows on the 2nd, the 8th, and the 9th. Hope to see you there. Attention all my communication arts Jaguars. Tomorrow, the Communications Honor Society induction will be taking place from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. in the Media Center. In other communication arts news, here's a spotlight on communications junior Nicole Forestieri and her love for photography. Hello Dreyfus, I'm Zach Montoya and I'm here with Nicole Forestieri. I'm one of the directors for DSO Today, a photographer under Muse and the vice president of a photography club. How are you? I'm good. I have questions for her. So I'm gonna ask her questions. <laughs> Nicole, can you tell us about like what like how you got into photography? I got into photography with having always an interest on uh, photography. So I for first started off with a phone. And once I auditioned for Dreyfus, for communications major, I got in for a sophomore year. And that's when I grew. That's when I got more opportunities, especially being a photographer on the Muse. That's where I grew. That's where I got improvements. And that's what gave me more passion for photography. Interesting. Um, so is there any like specific thing that influences you or like, you know, that is like an influence for your photography? My influence will be mostly the vision. So I, whatever I want to vision, I want to create it to life. That's what influences me. And what, having the support from family, friends, and co-workers, that's what um, having more influence, more support, and having more of a family to have me, support me with photography. Uh, how would you describe like your photography style? Photography style is mostly with personalities. So I do like to show uh, my clients' personality through the camera, not only them themselves, but their aura. What what are they? What is their story behind their photos? So Nicole is actually one of our studio directors here at DSUA today. So it's amazing that she does that and this. So if you see her, be sure to tell her she's awesome. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Zach. But never forget that you're awesome, too. In sports news, today is the start of boys and girls basketball tryouts in the gym after school. Make sure to have your Activate completed prior to tryouts. Fortunately, I won't be trying out because I'm afraid I'll be playing like Bronny James. In more local news, this Sunday, November 3rd, the annual Cars and Coffee will be held at the Palm Beach Tanger Outlets from 8 to 12. Now to a story spotlighting the theater department's Miss Nixdorf. When we make changes like Hello, this, my name is Sophia Menching from DSOA Today, and today we are taking a look at the new musical theater teacher, Miss Nixdorf. What an exciting opportunity to come here to work in a program where we can audition all of the kids who come in and to nurture them from freshman through senior year. It's just there's no school like Dreyfus where students are actually able to take ballet, where they're together in cohorts based on grade level studying theater every year. 
It's just really an incredible opportunity. Some theater students are very excited for the upcoming year with this new teacher. I love her. She always brings such a positive energy into the classroom and obviously a lot of our us seniors are, you know, applying to musical theater schools and pre-screens and auditions and everything are so stressful and she's been alleviating all of it. So I'm very happy that we have her. I really enjoy working with Miss Nixdorf. Um, she's just so cool. I really enjoy how laid back she is, but she's also very strict. So we do get a lot done and I've learned so much from her already. Already, the theater department is preparing for their first show of the year, The Drowsy Chaperone. But the Drowsy Chaperone is a comedic, just fun musical with all of these really wacky characters. And I'm the dance captain in that show, so I get to help with choreo and help teach all of the ensemble members the dance moves. Um, and it's really fun having that leadership role because I feel that I'm getting a lot closer to Miss Nixdorf and a lot of the other teachers. I think the newness is a little bit of a challenge, but otherwise it's, it's been great. We have a very big cast in this show. We have 44 students in the show, which is a really exciting thing. We had over 100 students audition, so we tried to maintain as many of those kids as we we'll could. You know, they were all good the, in their own ways. Some of them maybe them not quite space, ready okay. for a main stage show, but showed a lot of promise and potential in their auditions. All in all, we here at DSOA Today are so excited to see what Miss Nixdorf and all the new staff here at Dreyfus are going to bring to our Dreyfus magic. Before we go, we would like to mention another important event in honor of the LGBTQ History Month. President Obama signing up the Junior Hate Crimes and Prevention Act into law in 2009. This law expands on the previous hate crime law of 1969, including crimes motivated by sexual orientation and gender identity or disability, becoming the first federal law to include protections for transgender people. That's all we have for you today, Dreyfus. I'm Jay Vandelva. And I'm Lennon Sanford. Have a great day, Dreyfus, and we'll see you at Class Changes and Lunch.